Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> well, today we're going to be talking about the debacle um, that happened with uh, Trump and Mexico and the tariffs and the wall and immigration and all that shit. So, I'm sure you guys have already heard by now. I mean, both countries have already heard by now. Um, what really, you know, what's going on with the tariffs. So, you know, obviously I'm in Mexico and I'm looking at the news here, looking at what's going on here, just like I look at, you know, American news because I'm American and I see what's going on on both ends of the spectrum here. And um, it was really interesting. I mean, it, it, was, it was really interesting to see exactly uh, how everything turned out. But at the end of the day, once everything happened, I was also not surprised at all. Like I'm sure a lot of you guys are, um, especially the ones that really follow a lot of this stuff closely. So when uh, Mr. Trump came out on Friday and said, all right, we're not going to have any more tariffs because we talked to, to Mexico and Mexico said that, uh, you know, they're going to they're going to, you know, do what we say or whatever. And, uh, and then you look at the Mexico side of things and then, you know, the president there was pretty much kind of like saying we won. We knew we were never going to fucking uh, go. You know, what is it? Um, bow down to them to the empire and we're, we're you know we're not going to do that with this presidency and so on and so forth and uh and as a matter of fact um on saturday he went all the way to tijuana you know i'm talking about the mexican president so that he could have a humongous trumpish type rally with his own people and you know gathered everybody and everybody in mexico is like we won just like everyone in the u.s is like we won but if uh you really look down at the nitty gritty and the details well you know what as a matter of fact that's exactly what we're gonna do right now and uh, I'll let you guys determine who the winner really is I'll give you a guess <laughs> okay I'll let you figure that out I'll let you figure out who do you think won um, but again you know once we once we talk about this we're gonna realize real quickly you know who the real winner is which I'm sure you guys already know but again the devil is in the details, right? Is that, is that what they say? So, let's get to it. Now, I'm recording this on Sunday um, because I had to step out to, to the store real quick. So I figured, you know what? Let me just record this and start talking about this right now before it, it, it's, you know, before it's not fresh in my mind anymore. So pretty much, I've been following this pretty closely and I've been really following it really closely the last several days just because of, uh, you know, as soon as Trump said that, you know, um, that Mexico, uh, what is it, that Mexico went with his concessions or what have you, and that, uh, and there was no tariffs and all this other shit, I was like, man, I knew it, I knew it, you know, Mex I mean, Trump is just, uh, you know, playing his fucking game again, and uh, just like a lot of you guys say out there, don't listen to Trump, just look at what he says, okay, which is true, you know what I mean? Now, let's break that down real quick, so, pretty much when you're looking at the, the agreement between Mexico and the U.S., the immigration agreement. Well, nothing, there's nothing new there. I mean, honestly, there's absolutely zero, nothing new here. Um, what the United States and Trump wanted, okay, was pretty much for Mexico to stop the immigration. For Mexico to stop um, the flow of immigrants and all this shit. Now, we've already talked several times on this show before. Um, exactly um, who is causing this migrant caravan and what is really causing that situation to deteriorate to the point of uh, you know again we have all these migrants just coming over here and shit like that is actually uh, more complicated than just you know people leaving their country and hopping over the the fucking border so you know but that's not what we're gonna be talking about here as a matter of fact what we're gonna be talking about is the fact that again what the agreement was about so pretty much you know, when, when, when the agreement was uh, drawn out this weekend or whenever the hell it was drawn out, you know, what they were, what they came, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, the final agreement or what they finally came to terms with was the fact that um, now all of a sudden, you know, um, you know, the country, the country of Mexico now is going to be in charge of... Uh, of the whole immigration situation, meaning that, you know, they're gonna start setting um, the National Guard, you know, close to the border. 
Um, they're going to put National Guard all over the country. They're going to start cracking down on immigration. They're going to start, um, you know, doing all of these fucking things. Now, if you just look over the top of it, you know, as to what the agreement was, and you're just looking at it from the American side of the uh, perspective, you're thinking to yourself, ah, oh, yeah, we won. Shit, not only did we win, but we're forcing these guys, uh, you know, Mexico, to do, to do these things that they didn't want to do. Which is, uh, you know, which has become uh, America in the sense of like the immigration sense. So, as you already know, American immigration isn't uh, getting along very well the last several years since Trump has been president. So, right off the bat, you know, whenever, you know, when, when you were, when we were listening, I mean, when we were reading exactly what happened, you know, the, the concessions in between both countries was the fact that, again, you know, the United States was forcing Mexico to deal with this immigration shit but if you look at it from the Mexicans if you look at it from the Mexicans perspective if you look at it actually you know and you read it verbatim and you and you know what's going on then you know that nothing's gonna happen now let me explain so I don't know if you guys remember a while ago that um, we had a migrant caravan that this is probably six months ago or something I don't know the exact date I'm gonna see if I can find the film and put it here for you guys But the point is that around six months ago, give or take, maybe less, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I, I, it might be less, so, um, we had a very, 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 very similar situation. And, um, you know, Mexico, you know, was forced or told that they had to, you know, put their National Guard up, they had to, you know, put up a wall, um, stop this immigrant flow, blah, blah, blah. And what happened? Well, again, hopefully I can find the film and put it here, but what actually what happened was that as soon as that migrant caravan got to the border, you know, Mexico-Guatemala border, um, literally what happened was that the, the caravan literally just poked at the, at the immigration cops. Literally, I mean, they just went up to them, you know, they're all humans, you know, they just went up to them and poked and, and kind of like, hey, can we get through? And you know what the Immigration Border Patrol National Guard of Mexico said? Yeah, sure, no problem, here and they opened you know why because that is the fucking law that is not just the law of mexico and the constitution here but that's pretty much <clears throat> the fucking law like international amnesty and international um laws when it comes to all this stuff so let's get back to the concessions again let's get back to you know what trump forced mexico to do they forced them <laughs> You know they forced them to do the same thing meaning okay you guys have to get a bunch of national guard people you gotta get them all over the place you gotta start cracking down you gotta you know do all of these fucking things and then on top of that like when the mexican i mean when uh when these caravan people you know when these immigrants show up in your country you know we're gonna first of all we're gonna take you know as soon as they cross into the u.s we're gonna take them back to mexico and then on top of that pretty much everyone that's uh um that crosses through Mexico, now Mexico is forced to give them health care and forced to give them uh, jobs and help and work and all this shit. But again, if you know the laws and you already know what's going on, that's already what they do. That's why I'm here. That's why a lot of you guys watch these channels. Because, you know, we kind of fall in that same situation. We're almost, you know, um, you know, immigrants, you know, um, forced out of our country to come over here for a better life. So, now, what happens is, is that if you come as an American, you know, you got to like make your own money. You got to like actually provide for the economy It's very different because obviously you come from a better situation. But if you come from another country, whether it's Venezuela, Guatemala, you know, Cuba, you know, shit like that. What happens is, is they actually open up the borders here. They open up their arms over here for you and they allow you to not just live, 
but to also function here. And this, you know, this is just the Mexican laws. So, you know, you know, people are getting it twisted, and even some Mexican people are getting it twisted because they think that now all of a sudden, you know, they got to provide all of these things for these immigrants that they don't even get for themselves. Sounds familiar, like what's happening in the U.S. and been happening for a long time. So the Mexican people are already up in arms. But again, you know, once everything was explained to them, it's like, oh, oh, you, so all this is really going to happen is just that we're just going to continue doing business as usual. And that's it. So this is what's going to happen, guys. Obviously, we already know the situation's over for now. But if you look at the concessions, you look at actually everything that happened, you know, the actual paperwork and the quotes and all that shit, you quickly find out and see that, again, nothing's going to happen. And in 90 days from today, or yesterday or whatever, they're going to revisit this, okay? And they're going to talk about this again. And why? Why is that? Well, again, just from my estimations, just from what happened already in the past, I, th I really honestly do think that what's going to happen is that we're going to have a very similar situation. They're going to close the border, you know? They're just going to line up across the border, you know, do what the U.S. asked them to do. And then when these migrants get there, they're going to continue doing the same thing, meaning just allow them through. Why? Because, again, it's illegal for the police, for the for National Guard, for any kind of uh, authority here to, to even molest or bother or agitate or do anything to the people. Look, I'll give you a quick one. Just a few years ago, when Uber was here, um, oh, look, a drone. Look at that. Interesting. So... So yeah, I mean, again, uh, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. I got distracted by a... Uh... Oh, it's a graduation. Ah, cool. I forgot. This is June. Look at that. Okay. So, like I was saying, you know, the thing is that all, all that stipulation, all that uh, paperwork, you know, all that shit that the U.S. and Mexico did together was pretty much to, you know, lay the groundwork, lay the foundation you know, for um, what's to come in the future, meaning because they want to turn Mexico and they want to turn Central America into America. So again, what's going to happen? You know, Mexico needs a lot of immigrants. just like the U.S. needed a lot of immigrants at one point. Now all these immigrants are not going to be allowed in the U.S. anymore. So now they're going to be allowed in Mexico. And so what's going to happen is that we already know all these Mexican, all these uh, immigrants are going to be waiting here in Mexico. They're going to build their lives here. Um, help build the, uh, the country um, and so on and so forth just like immigrants do all over the fucking world and um, And so on and so forth. so I mean They're kind of forcing Mexico to be the US in a weird way, but again, you know, I digress Let's just get back to the concessions. Look what's gonna happen is gonna be the same exact thing because oh Yeah, the uber thing. That's what I was talking about So what happened with the uber thing was that you know, um, I'm sure you guys remember, you know, years ago, all over the country, all over the world, actually, um, you know, where there was Uber drivers and there was taxi drivers, you know, the, the Uber drivers were taking over, the taxi drivers were getting out of work, um, and so on and so forth. So, as it happened here, you know, just like in other parts of Europe and other parts of the world, that happened here in France, where, in France, it happened here in Mexico, where um, all of a sudden, uh, the taxi drivers started attacking the Uber drivers. And I'm sure you guys remember these things that were happening. And so I was watching some footage of that that happened here a few years back and the cops didn't even get involved. So if the cops didn't even get involved as taxi drivers were beating the shit out of Uber drivers. And the reason they didn't get involved is because it's their right to do all that shit. And it's like, again, it's very libertarian, guys. Very anarchistic. So since that was happening, again, you know, what makes you think? And again, it was just what happened a few months ago with all the people crossing the border and uh, literally all the troops here just letting everybody through, what makes you think that any different is gonna happen? So that's all I'm saying. You know, I think that everything that Trump did was literally just uh, brainwashing everybody again. You know, just like, look here, don't look here. You know, like, like Gregory Manorino's always saying, look here, don't look here. Look over here, don't look over here. You know, always keeping your, your eyes off of, uh, you know, the ball. You know, always making you, let me see. You know, always making you concentrate on the dumbest shit and not necessarily what's, uh, you know, what you should be worrying about. So, you know, with that being said, when you're looking at the stipulations, you're looking at everything that happens when it comes to that. Let me see if I can find some shade. 
Um, it turns out that literally all, all the United States is telling Mexico to do is business as usual. So literally within the, the stipulations, it was saying that Mexico is now going to be doing exactly um what is it they're going to be following their they're going to follow immigration laws according to um how they have already have them set in mexico so again what does that mean it means that as the caravan shows up these troops might confront them but the, the most that these troops are going to do is like hey you want some food hey you want some water hey uh, you want to stay here in mexico instead of dry, instead of keep walking all the way to the states that's all that's going to happen Okay, and then once that happens, you know, meaning once we start getting all these caravans coming over here again, I mean, I'm getting to that border again and start uh, meeting up with these Mexican troops and then the Mexican troops don't do anything. Well, that's when you're going to see Trump and the United States, you know, up in arms again and forcing Mexico to do something and blah, blah, blah. And it's just going to be a continual game. You know, just like we've seen the, the trade war with China and the U.S. where it's just like, you know, going, you know, going in fucking circles and nothing ever gets really resolved or taken care of. And again, you know, if you look at it from the China's perspective, it's kind of like the same thing where the people in China are, you know, kind of like tired and they're fucking, you know, they've had enough of this shit already. And um, just like here, you know, people are getting very, very tired of all this shit already. But I think that as time goes on, you know, the Mexican people are also understanding the power that they have. Because again, there was a humongous monster type rally on Saturday in Tijuana in order to celebrate this uh, this defeat of the United States by Mexico. Because again, that's literally what happened. You know, um, the United States was forcing Mexico to do all these things. And then, you know what the president of Mexico said? Listen, we're not going to do shit. We're going to keep doing things how we want to fucking do them. So what are you going to do about it? And that's it. Okay, Mexico didn't do a damn thing. You know, when uh, you, Trump is like, you got to stop these immigrants. You know what Mexico said? No, we're not. You, like, you have to. No, we're not. Why? Because, again, it's illegal and it's against our constitution. And like that, you know what I mean? As simple as that. But what happens is that you got to remember all these players around the world that are, um, you know, the leaders of this, uh, of the world, you know, they're all playing a game. They're all playing with each other and that whole fucking thing. So you might think that, you know, Trump and Putin and uh, the Mexican president and all these guys, for the most part, hate each other. But you got to remember who the real bosses are. It's like the banks and all these other people in power. So these guys are all just playing the fucking role, playing the role. They know their role. They're playing their 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 character they're playing you know the the you know the, the person within the story which um you know who they're told to, to play so right now again you know mexico was said okay listen you know trump is going to come after you he's going to say this to say that and do this but at the end of the day you just kind of play along and that's it you know what i mean just play along because nothing's going to really change and why is nothing really going to change because again if all of a sudden there's like this trade war with mexico hey man the only ones that are like not going to benefit the only ones that are going to be in trouble is the u.s not mexico not mexico at all okay because as this was dragging on you know everybody was just like okay taking out their calculators taking out their pen and paper and doing all the calculations and like yeah you know mexico is only gonna win you know no matter what so th this whole thing even though it looks like the u.s won because it's forcing mexico to now you know hold its immigrants and and be you know the the, the wall, the barrier, you know, it, it's it's really not how, how it is. I mean, again, it's, it's, it's also plays in Mexico's favor because Mexico would rather have these immigrants in Mexico as opposed to have them crossing through here and landing in the in the U.S. Again, this is a growing uh, uh, country here too. Um, growing economy, growing everything. They need the immigrants. They need them for a lot of fucking reasons. And so, it, it, and the same thing, and it, it, all the time the Mexican president is like literally calling to the Mexicans that are in the U.S. and saying, come home. I want to make it so awesome here in Mexico that you don't want to be in the U.S., but you want to be home where you belong, home, 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 come home, come home. So that's like the constant message from this president as well. It's very nationalistic, just like, um, just like Trump, only Trump is very conservative and this president over here is extremely liberal. So obviously he's going to be very open borders, be gay friendly, he's going to be humanitarian and so on and so forth. So again, right now on the world stage, it looks like Trump is the biggest piece of shit in the world and it looks like the president here is fucking amazing. Like the most humanitarian guy ever, opening up the borders, opening up the country. But again, if you know anything about the laws, that's already how Mexico is. The United States did not make Mexico do anything any different. In fact, that's, you know, like if you look at everything and then you look and listen to what the president said, the Mexican president, he was pretty much saying that, you know, we're not going to change. 
we're not gonna do anything sure we're gonna put a few more troops here we're gonna do a little this that and a little that whatever here but these are already plans that they already had um, in the works just because again you know the reason that they had these plans in the works already in the past was because remember what happened many many months ago at the Mexican border in Guatemala with the caravan as the caravan just pushed through all the Americans were pissed off most Mexicans were just pissed because this caravan was coming through and they know where that caravan came from the US and so on and so forth so um, it, it's, it's all about that so now that the Mexican people are more aware of the situation as well you know they're like okay whatever you know play play whatever you got to play do whatever you got to do in order to you know appease Trump and appease this situation but you know at the end of the day they know full well what's going to happen you know they already know full well that mexico won this that there's no no way in hell that the the mexico is going to turn into the u.s you know what the u.s wants out of mexico is for the mexican troops the mexican national guard the mexican police to attack and become extremely ag violent like in the u.s towards immigrants and towards other people but this is not going to happen because this is not the way things work out here and they're not going to work out here that way so that's the thing most americans are under the impression that that is what's going to happen and then a few months down the line when these two confront again again the troops of mexico with uh with more another immigrant caravan they're going to be again sorely disappointed that the mexicans are hey guys sorry about that the fucking overheating of the camera you already know i think you know i'm also starting to think that maybe all this hot air that comes out of my mouth in front of the camera plus the fucking 70 billion degree weather i think all that put together is what makes the camera um, you know overheat, but anyways as I was saying look guys if we're really if we want to keep score Which I know as an American and most people out there, you know, we like keeping score right now. It's Mexico to America nothing all right the USA nothing and uh, Big ass goose egg and uh, this is a soccer game All right, and right now Mexico's kicking your ass all right kicking our ass, but I mean again, it's just like in the but the, the public perception type of thing you know at the end of the day remember you know right now Mexico is looking like the most awesome beautiful humanitarian place ever and uh, the United States is looking the complete opposite of that um, so I forgot honestly what I was saying a little earlier but this is just you know I made today's video just so you can bring some more light into this and I really would like for you guys to ask me more questions and for you guys to you know to be more involved in this conversation because you know there's a lot to talk about here and this is not over by any stretch of the imagination like i said i really do think that in a few months we're going to be confronted with a similar situation again in which uh you know um these uh, caravans are going to be hitting a guatemala border and uh the mexican troops are not gonna you know stop them they're gonna let them just go right through and we're gonna be seeing a lot and you know another very similar situation all right, remember what already happened, how they ended up in Tijuana, they ended up on the border, they never crossed over, you know, whatever. It's gonna happen again and again. And it's gonna be very, very interesting to see. At the end of the day, the people out here are becoming more and more educated as each day passes, and they know what's happening, and they know that, again, Trump is just telling everybody, look here, don't look over here, you know, he's uh, brainwashing everybody, but the people here are just fully aware of what's really happening and what's going on, and I want you guys to also be fully aware of what's going on, and let's continue this conversation and continue talking about this, because this is a very, very, very important topic that we all need to be talking about, okay? There's trade wars everywhere, and this war with Mexico is not over it hasn't even begun all right so guys I love you guys thank you so much for you know joining patreon thank you so much for all the donations thank you thank you thank you thank you so much I really appreciate you guys I love you guys you guys are freaking amazing don't forget to please like please subscribe please share and um, don't forget to stay awesome and please let's continue this conversation below okay I want to keep talking about this and I uh, hope today's video was uh, kind of informative and uh, hopefully we can uh, bounce it you know bounce these ideas off each other and uh, and see what other knowledge we can get out, okay, out of this video. So guys, thank you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye.